Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Today we will try to demystify cloud CDN content delivery network using uh, a VPN client called as uh, TunnelBear. You can install it on a browser also, Chrome browser. So I'm going to use Chrome browser. So let's see how we can understand our cloud CDN concept by using simple demonstrations. Let's get started. So before we uh, do the demonstration, just wanted to give you a small update that uh, the updated version of Professional Cloud Architect exam, uh, which was shown as uh, to be planned for the spring 2021 is now very clearly mentioned from 1st of May, you're going to see uh, the new questions or the new, uh, new, uh, like new updated uh, Cloud Architect uh, questions. Uh, so with new case studies, just thought of sharing it with you now. For the CDN part, right, basically we wanted to know what's our uh, IP address, all those things. So some prerequisites. So if I just do a look up, so it's going to show me what's my IP address. And it also shows uh, which part of the world I'm in. I'm in Bangalore. That's what it indicates. So just a prerequisite. So now what I have done is I have already set up a storage bucket. This is a bucket, which is a multi-regional one um, in Asia. And inside that bucket, I have a, a, a image, so lgwm.png. So if I click on that, it is made as public already. So this is the content. So basically the banner of my YouTube channel, I have put it as a content. Now, what I have done is basically, I have already set up the CDN. So I have a load balancer, I have a CDN enabled. So this is what it shows. And you can see that it's the same bucket name, which we saw here. So in the interest of time, I have already done these things and I have also enabled CDN. That's one thing. Um, the entire thing has been configured. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to put a log so that we can see how the logs gets captured so that we can see whether it's really hitting the cache or not. So I'm going to use this option of load balancer. So if you search for HTTP load balancer, mouse over on it, then you'll get a few forwarding rules. I have a website which is having HTTPS. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to use a, a, a URL map with this name. So this is what I have already configured. So the rule is set. Now I can run the query. So I can run the query. Uh, I did some demos uh, like was trying to see how things work. So before that, so this shows you something. Now, if I click on the time now, so the time is going to be very important. So it's uh, around 12.17 uh, is the time in the place where I'm living. So if I do it, the last request was at 12.47. So these are the background folks. So these are the background. So now what we will do is we will look into uh, the edge point of presence which we have in GCP. So CDN edge point of presence. So there is a good amount of presence which Google has across the world, North America, South America, Europe, uh, Middle East and Asia and in some parts of Africa and Australia. So they have a good presence. Now what we are going to do basic stuff. So if I just go to my uh, regions and locations. So you'll be able to see uh, the 25th region, which was one of the videos which I did is now uh, updated. Now what we are going to see is, so I'm somewhere here. I'm somewhere here. So if I take a map, so if I take the map, so I'm here, Bangalore. That's what I, uh, it shows uh, as per the IP lookup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to request this uh, content, which is there which is there. So once I request it, fortunately or unfortunately, I don't have a um, CDN in Bangalore. The closest one for me is going to be Chennai. So just looking at the map, uh, you should be able to get it. So Bangalore, Chennai, it's very nearby. So it's going to hit Chennai. So if I send a request, so first the closest region is going to be discovered. So once it discovers it, it sees whether there's any uh, cached content in Chennai, CDN point of presence. If it is not there, it's going to hit the backend. So the backend is going to be a storage bucket. So it's a multi-regional storage bucket. So it's going to hit and get the request and the cache gets filled in Chennai. Then it's going to serve me. 
again if somebody from Bangalore hits it they are going to be served from Chennai but it's not going to hit the back end so this is the basic concept of a CDN and let's get it verified whether it really works the way so because I personally feel if you do the demonstration like this you will be able to get the concept very clearly so let's do that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the request like this so I have a website also created so learn gcp with Mahesh dot tk that's the domain which I have so static slash uh, lgwm dot png so that was the name of the file so let me hit the uh, request the response comes back beautifully good so now I have sent a request from Bangalore so now if I go look into my logs logs are the one only thing which is going to help us uh, in this case so the time was around 1220 or so so now if you see uh, the logs you can click on jump now or you can run the query either one of them or you can also stream the logs so either one of either of them is going to work now 1220 there was a request so if I just expand this if I just expand this look into the logs it very clearly says uh, the request came from a remote IP address what is this IP address you can look into this lookup it shows the same IP ending with 203 so that's what it indicates that's the same thing now you see the request was sent by the backend meaning there was nothing cached so it has to be filled in the uh, CDN point of presence and the CDN point of presence is MAA some ID what is this MAA so this is usually going to be the format of your airports so if you just search for something like uh, uh, MAA uh, ITA it's going to be basically nothing but uh, Chennai so that's what it indicates so they use the same format basically so you get it now it is very clear so if I am in Bangalore where there's no CDN point of presence the closest CDN point of presence is going to be taken and the request is going to be served now if I send too many requests from Bangalore uh, basically I try to uh, hit this couple of times uh, it's going to be uh, cached first of all it's going to be cached to some extent in browser uh, so you can try to send a request from a different machine all those things it's going to still work so I have sent a couple of requests now if I go to my uh, logs and stream the logs so that I can quickly see stuffs so the time was after something like the time was 22 or so so 21 uh, in that range if I see I should be able to see it now you see lots of requests because I did refresh I did refresh so the last request if I say take it so it shows response came from cash and it is from Chennai it is very very clearly mentioned there now uh, some of you may not be knowing about these places so I thought let me take one more example and make it very uh, fruitful so because I have not used any uh, tunnel bear here so let me use the tunnel bear and uh, explore this so what I'm going to do is I will come to the EMEA part and show you some stuff so what I'm going to do is um, we'll take something like Norway we'll take uh, Norway as the example and using uh, the tunnel bear I have already installed the tunnel bear client uh, now if I see Norway is one of the possible locations available so I'm going to take Norway and if you take the same concept go to your uh, locations in uh, Europe you can quickly see there is no Norway there's no Norway so looking at the map the closest to Norway is Sweden closest to Sweden, uh, Norway is Sweden and what you see is basically in Sweden you have a CDN point of presence so if somebody simulates as if like it is coming from Sweden what you are going to uh, sorry from Norway it's going to be served from Sweden that is the key part here so let's get try to do it so I will try to simulate it uh, using Norway so I'll just turn on my this thing 
Now I am in Norway. Now I can verify whether I am really in Norway or not. So let me just run this command. So again, this is an uh, option which you get it in Tunnel Bear. Now it shows your location is private, encrypted with the bear. Uh, so this is a cool app, I would say. So this is my IP address, folks. This is my IP address. Now the time is around 1224 uh, in my this thing. So the locks, this is useful for locks. So now if I go to this page and send a couple of requests, few more requests. Now go to my locks. Go to my locks. I don't need this anymore. I will just close this. Now go to my locks, stream it. Anything after 1224 is what I need to see. Uh, the locks have not still come up. Let me just run the query one more time. There's going to be a little lag there. Yes, 1224 is what I see basically. Uh, let me see what is the option it is showing. Uh, 1224. Okay, you see this folks, 1224. It is sent from the back end. So ANR. So if you just do the same thing, ANR. What is this code? It's going to show it is nothing but Sweden. It is nothing but Sweden. So uh, hope the concept is clear now. So it's going to be Sweden. Now you may ask what if it is if I have. So you showed me all the options where there's no CDN point of presence. So why don't we take an example where there's a CDN point of presence. So we can also do that. So what I'm going to do basically is before I show you that uh, there are lots of requests which sent from Sweden, uh, sorry, from Norway. So if I take the last one, last one, it is still showing us uh, sent from uh, backend. So maybe if I send few more requests, there's a chance that it is going to recognize that it is coming. It has to come from um, from the cache. We can do that. So if I send few more requests, it's going to show that. So now let me just do one last thing. Um, why don't I make it as uh, Sweden itself? So first I'll show you Sweden itself. Um, so this was from Norway. I was sending a request. So the closest location was Sweden. So CDN, uh, Sweden, CDN point of presence got evoked and uh, sent. So and it is still showing us sent from backend. Now what I'm going to do now is I'll go to my locations. So Sweden is there. Fortunately, we have also a location in uh, Tunnel Bear for Sweden, if I'm not wrong. Yep, we have it. So meaning the person is in Sweden sending a request. So meaning it should show because already somebody requested from Norway, the cache is already there in CDN. So now if a person from S uh, Sweden itself uh, tries to access it, it's going to see the CDN, uh, Sweden CDN point of presence is the cache there. If the cache is there, it's going to send it directly. It's going to say request sent from cache. Basically, that should be the one. So to verify it, whether I'm in Sweden or not, let me just refresh this. It should now show my location as uh, Sweden. Let's just verify it. Yep, it shows like that. Now, uh, to be on the safer side, I'm just going to close this. Send a new request send couple of times the request and the time now is around okay it shows it in the Sweden time so that's fine so it shows it in the Sweden time so it should be around 1224 uh, more than 1224 so let me now go and run it so after this 1224 was the last one which we saw so something like plus three minutes or so let's see it yeah, so after 1224, so there were some errors. That's fine. There were some errors uh, saying that it was not able to get, say, for example, if you see the error. So client disconnected before the response, something of that sort, because we were changing with our tunnel bear client. So if I see the last one, if I see the last one, expand it. Uh, awesome. You see this, folks? So it shows it is coming from. Sweden. The key part is it is coming from cache and the beautiful thing is you see this IP address. You see this IP address and you can verify that from the tunnel where it is ending with 122. So it is it came from Sweden 
and when it comes from Sweden, because it's already present in the cache, so it's going to show you that stuff. So awesome feature, right? So this is how basically uh, CDN uh, works is what I wanted to uh, show you by showing you a small demonstration. So uh, if in a city or in a country, you have lots of CDN point of presence, for example, uh, if I take uh, India itself, so I'm in Bangalore, so closest one is Chennai. So it's going to come from there. So if somebody is in some other parts of uh, India, so it's going to find the closest one, say for example, Mumbai, Delhi, then first it's going to see whether the cache is there or not. If it's not there, it's going to hit the backend system and then get the data. So that's the key part here. And let me just show you one stuff which is not at all there. Uh, uh, a country which is not at all having any presence in um, in GCP, for example, totally uh, not in the map, for example, Ukraine. I'll take Ukraine as an example, and we know we don't have any presence uh, in Ukraine, so you can clearly see it here. So you can also search for Ukraine, so it's not there. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll take my tunnel bear, change it to Ukraine and show you what's going to happen. So the closest one, so if you look into the map again, uh, the closest one for Ukraine is going to be our new 25th region, Poland or Warsaw. So the request should come from there. So do we have a presence in Poland? You can verify it. It should be there. Yeah, we have it. So let's try to do that. So what I have done, I'm in Ukraine now. So verify whether my, uh, this thing is proper. It shows as Ukraine. Yep, it shows it. Now what I'm going to do is to be on the safer side, close this, send request, send couple of times a request. It's loading. Let's just wait for it to load. Yep, it came, the request came. Two, three, four, five. Now, what we should see basically in the logs, so because the time, if I now see it, it's going to show the Ukraine time, so it's not going to show that proper. Okay, it is showing back. Okay, it's the time is showing as 12.31. Now in the logs, if I see anything after 12.31, if I see it's going to be all served from Ukraine, and the IP address is going to be ending with 123. So let's just verify it by running the query 1231, anything after 1231. So this is the one. So if I take the first request, uh, 1231. So this is the first request. So expand. The key part is expanding the stuffs. Beautiful. Now if you see the IP address is ending at 123, which is nothing but the IP address of our Ukraine. 176 ending with 120, uh, 123. So that's what you see. And the response is sent from the back end. And look at the ID, cash ID, WAW. So don't remember what is that? No problem. Google is going to be there. So you just search for WAW. And that's nothing but our 25th region which Google launched. Uh, so that's your uh, Poland, Warsaw uh, region. So that it shows. So if it's totally not there, I would say the map is going to help you out to find out from where it is going to come. So by doing this kind of a demo, right, your concept becomes very, very clear. So uh, that's the video which I wanted to share today. Hope you like the concept and the approach. Uh, thank you for watching, folks.